You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poor Boy Sin. The poll don't stand for poll. Now, shouts out to anybody out there that has already made this build. I came across this build the other night while I was trying to make a new lockdown build. And um, I will say right off the bat, the only reason you would make this build is for the label. This label is real comp. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's probably my favorite label I've ever seen just because I, I would call myself a rebounding point RRL. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to make this build from scratch. Once again, if you have already made this build, you can let us know down in the comment section if you made it different from how I made it. But all in all, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see nobody in the comment section like I had this build first. You're not the creator of this build. Um, I do just want to bring light onto this build because there are players out there that like making new builds just solely based off of the label and really don't care how the attributes are looking. So you do want to go with the point guard position, hence the fact it's called a rebounding point. That's the only way you can get called a rebounding point is at the point guard position. And I will say before we jump into this build, this build is very similar to the rebounding guard and the rebounding wing, pretty much kind of identical stats. The only reason you want to pick this build over rebounding guard and rebounding wing is because of the lateral quickness. You can only get labeled a rebounding point depending on what your lateral quickness attribute is and so i'm gonna show you guys that here in a bit but i will say the only reason you will pick this build over a rebounding guard or a rebounding wing is because you can only get floor general you can only get floor general at the pg position so um there are people that get technical like that especially like pro and players when it comes to making builds and things like that so i will say that is probably like one one of the only reasons you will make a rebounding point over a rebounding guard or rebounding wing is solely for that floor general badge now um you got you guys you know pie chart when it comes to this build when it comes to all my builds i always go with the pie chart with the most speed and acceleration so we're gonna do that here in this video um if you guys see any other physical pie charts that you like if you choose to make this build you know, say let us know down in the comment section as well now like i said this build is very similar to the rebounding guard and rebounding wing build but when you are specifically trying to get labeled a rebounding point you want to make sure your lateral quickness is a certain attribute. Now, um, you can make this build without a passing accuracy and ball handling, or you can make it with passing accuracy and ball handling. The one thing you want to pay close attention to when making this build, if you want to get labeled a rebounding point, is to have lateral quickness at a 73 overall. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you are able to make a rebounding point and you didn't have to go 73 on the lateral quickness attribute rating because I want to know because I will make a rebounding point over a rebounding guard and a rebounding wing if I could get my lateral quickness maxed out. So like I said, I couldn't figure out a way to make this build and get this label uh, with having out, without having my lateral quickness you know what i'm saying 73 or under so that's what i'm going to show you guys here in this video like i said if you did find another way to make this build with all of your defensive rebounding attributes maxed out please let me know down in the comment section because um, this is a build that i would like to make and grind out solely because of the label because i like the label a lot now another thing i do want to say um you don't want to go over 81 on the attribute rating for passing accuracy if you want to get labeled a rebounding point. If you go 82, you'll get labeled a pass first point. So I'll show you guys that here real quick. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, th I think you get labeled a pass first point if you go over 81 on the passing accuracy. Now, you do want to go 6'6", six, six, and then you want to go lowest weight. Lowest weight because you get lateral quickness back. And then you want to go max arms, lockdown takeover, pass first point. Now I think it's now, so I think I went 81 on the pass and accuracy attribute. I think it's nothing over 80. I think it's nothing over 80. Yeah, I think it's nothing over. Yeah, yes, yeah, 82. So it's 82 right here. So if you dump down to 81, you put this little one attribute somewhere else. You know you'll get labeled the rebounding point bill right here so nothing over 81 on the passing accuracy to get the rebounding point label if you do go over 81 on the passing accuracy you will get labeled a pass first point so that is your rebounding point bill right there and like i said man um 
if you do figure out or if you know how to make this build with maxed out defensive attributes please let me know down in the comment section but like i said man don't go over that 81 on the passing accuracy if you want to get labeled you know what i'm saying a rebounding point now there's another way to make this build that i do want to show you guys here real quick and then we'll come back to this build we'll come back to this build and um actually we'll do it right now and then i'll show you guys how to make the other version of this build which is on a different pie chart so there's another way to make this build and get this label on a different pie chart and you guys might like that build a little bit better and i'll show you guys that here in a second but we're going to go through if anybody does make this build, i'll show you what badges that i would put on this build because like i said if somebody does figure out how to make this build with maxed out defensive and rebounding attributes definitely going to make this build and grind it out to 99 overall so um, you get six finishing, six shooting, uh, ten playmaking, and twenty-one defensive or rebounding. Like I said, like I said in the beginning of this video, the only reason you would make this build is solely for, um, solely for the rebounding point label. Now you could mess around with your finishing and take off the take the playmaking down and put the playmaking on your free throw and post phase, so you get more shooting and less playmaking badges. Like I said. You can make this build and get the rebounding point label with or without playmaking attributes on this build. So um, you go all the way through, man. You get 21 defensive rebound. I don't know if anybody out there uh, watched one of my recent videos on best badges for rebounding guard or rebounding wing. And I, I pretty much said in that video, badges when it comes to defensive rebound, it depends on if you're going to pl be playing 2v2 or 3v3. And if you're going to be playing on ball defense or if you're going to be spotting up, you know what I'm saying? Well, not spotting. Well, pretty much that's what you're going to be doing on defense, spotting up in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you're playing against, depending on how good their offensive set is on the threes. But majority of the time, um, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be an on ball defender. You know what I'm saying? The center is going to be helping out on the PNR. And then there's going to be another defender sitting in the corner with a spot up shooter. So it depends on if you're going to be sitting in corner or not, or if you're going to be playing on ball defense. If you are going to be playing, trying to play, be playing on ball defense on this build, I want to suggest it. You will go Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Intimidator. You go Silver, Gold, or Hall of Fame Pick Dodger will go Silver because Silver and Hall of Fame really makes no difference in this game. And then um, uh, you can go Bronze Chase Down just in case if you think people are going to be getting by you or not. When I stick on ball defense, I really don't think too many people are going to get by, by me unless I'm playing an ISO player. ISO players are really the only players that you really need chase down artists on. Majority of the time, if you're playing good PNR defense, you know what I'm saying, you're either going to make the pickup or your center is going to make the pickup. So uh, to each his own, that's me. And then, like I said, in my best rebounding guard, best badges for rebounding guard, rebounding wing uh, video, I said, if you're a support player, now you could go defensive leader, Hall of Fame, or you know what I'm saying? If you're a lightning and reflexes player, you go lightning and reflexes, Hall of Fame, and then you go uh, silver pickpocket, you know what I'm saying? You could go silver pogo stick, um, you know what I'm saying? Silver off ball pest, you know what I'm saying? Or bronze rim protector, you know what I'm saying? And bronze interceptor. So to each his own, um, if you are spotting up in the corner on defense, you know what I'm saying, you're not playing on ball defense, um, I would potentially take clamps off. I mean, you could keep clamps on if you think you're going to be switching a lot with your other teammates. But if you don't plan on switching a lot and you're not playing on ball defense, you know, I'll probably go Hall of Fame. And I'll probably go Silver to Gold or Hall of Fame Interceptor. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll definitely go Chase Down on Bronze. And then I'll probably put that rebound chaser potentially on Hall of Fame to drop down, you know what I'm saying, and try and get some of them rebounds. And then I would probably go bronze here, you know what I'm saying, silver there. And then, you know what I'm saying, maybe off ball pass on bronze. Um, people sleep on off ball pass. If you if you test out the off ball pass badge, it definitely does make a difference, bro. It makes a big difference when trying to keep up with, you know what I'm saying, off ball dexters. And then um, potentially bronze box, personal preference. You know what I'm saying? You got the 10 playmaking badges. Like I said, you could talk with your teammate and you could put on a gold floor general and the PG can take floor general off and put those badges somewhere else. And then, um, you know what I'm saying? You potentially could go gold, quick first step. You know what I'm saying? Definitely throwing that gold dimer. And then, um, 
you know, probably needle threader on bronze or take quick first step off. You know what I'm saying? Keep that needle threader on and go, you know what I'm saying? Potentially live city pass on bronze. And then, you know what I'm saying? If you, like I said, if you're playing, depend on if you're playing threes or twos, you know what I'm saying? So I'm making these badges for the threes right now. So I'll probably throw break starter and bail out on. Or if you're playing twos, you know, probably keep that floor general and that dimer on. Take live city and bail out off. And probably, you know what I'm saying? Go needle threader hall and, and bail out bronze to each his own, you know what I'm saying, shooting badges. Uh, if you're a Hall of Fame quick draw player or a gold pick quick draw player, we'll probably go gold since you only get six shooting upgrades on this build. And then potentially go here like this, or you know what I'm saying, potentially like that, or put it here, you know what I'm saying. He only got six, so to each his own. But I definitely will probably just go like this. If you're a good shooter, you could be able to shoot with just those two badges. And then finishing badges, uh, you spotting up to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Put on a Lob City, pa Lob City finisher on gold, you know, throw on the, the contact consistent and giant slayer or take consistent down and throw giant slayer on silver to each his own, man, depending on how you play. Now, I will show you guys how to make this build on a different pie chart here real quick. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're still watching this video, the only reason you would make this build is solely for the label. You know, you could play around with the um with the shooting, finishing, and playmaking attributes to where you get more shooting badges instead of 10 playmaking badges and just have no playmaking on this build. To each his own personal preference, depending on how you want to play. Um, me, I potentially would probably take, definitely would probably take that playmaking down some. Take that playmaking down some and put it on my shooting badges just so you can get more shooting badges and I'll show you guys here real quick. Uh potentially might get labeled a perimeter lockdown though. But I would I would try and get that 16 shooting badges and then I'll probably put the rest on passing accuracy. But definitely I'll go for at least 16 shooting badges. Just so you get 10 more on the upgrades instead of only having six. And I might I might get labeled a perimeter lockdown here. That's why I didn't want to go back and mess with the attributes. I'll still get labeled a rebounding point. So like I said, um, you could make this build with no ball handling. You know, put the passer and accuracy up just to be a support player. You know, try and get some of the passes through. And um, just have no ball handling, less play making and more shooting badges. So uh, that is the rebounding point build right there. And like I said, really the the... The negative of this build is the lateral quickness. Now, if you don't plan to play a lot of on-ball defense, this is this is a nice, this is a cool build, you know? Like I said, the only difference you would make on um, making this build between a rebounding guard and rebounding wing is solely for that floor general badge. Um, I didn't go too deep into it and see how many extra shooting upgrades you can get on this build over you know, a rebounding guard or a rebounding wing. I think a rebounding guard could get 18 shooting upgrades as well. And I think a rebounding wing can only get 17. So this is pretty much in the same ball field as a rebounding guard. But you, if you really go in depth, when you guys make this build and play around with it yourself, um, let us know what the difference is down low in the comment section. I did want to show you guys how to make this a different way, but I didn't want to make this video this long either trying to play around with this bill so um i hope you guys appreciated me showing you guys how to make it the first way on the green and red pie chart and like i said if you guys do make that build out there let me know down in the comment section as well if you were able to get you know maxed out defensive and rebounding upgrades you know on that build as well so um, we'll go back to that rebounding point real quick, build real quick before we jump off of this video. I'm sorry to those out there that was kind of excited to see how we'll make this on the, the red pie chart. But your boy, your boy forgot. Your boy forgot. Show you guys the rebounding point upgrades real quick. And um, I hope you guys appreciate this video. Uh, whenever y'all watch this, be easy, stay blessed. And I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next one. I'm out one.